uh, your CFL career and you're leading the league in special teams tackles. Is, is that how you thought you were going to start your career? Um, you know, I didn't know what to expect from it all. Uh, you know, I just came in here and uh, you know, told myself I'd work my hardest, and so far, you know, it's it's worked it's worked pretty well for me. What's allowed you to have the success on special teams so far in the season? Um, I think it's just you know I'm I'm just working hard out there, and I don't know I don't really know why why you know it's been going well. I think I'm just I'm just working hard and trying to trying to make plays, and you know the team's behind me, and we're behind all we're all behind each other. So, you know that's been really good. That's really helped a lot. So, um, I don't really know why, but it's it's just just hard work I'd say. It's a really pretty tight unit right now. You guys are having a lot of success. Uh, I guess uh, what's working for the, the the whole coverage team? You know, we're just we're just we're all good buddies. We're all out here because we want to win. You know, and I think that's the most important thing is we're all we're all here because we want to win. And so we're doing whatever we need to do on whatever part of the team that we're on. We're doing what we can. What did it say to you when the Rodgers traded up? Um, it was it was really special. You know, it was really I was I was surprised. You know, I got I got drafted that early. I didn't think you know any team would really you know consider me for that early. So that that was really exciting on its own. And um, you know, yeah, it was just an amazing an amazing feeling. You know, to get picked to come here because it's you know it's the football capital of the CFL. So I asked Coach uh, if you expected to be leading the league in special teams tackles when he drafted you, and he said I did. <laughs> Your reaction to that? Oh, that's that's cool. That that makes me feel good. You know, they have confidence in me, and you know. I feel like, you know, they did have confidence in me, you know, picking me, trading for me. So I'm just happy that I'm able to come in here and, and you know, make them feel good about their pick. Are there other guys out there that are really making a difference that maybe don't get as noticed as much? On the um, I think, you know, I just think the whole squad, you know, it's not, there, there's there's 12 of us out there. And, uh, you know, I might, I might have, you know, however many tackles it is leading, or I think it's tied now or whatever, but... You know, that's it, it's not all me that's that's putting in the work to, to get me there. It's everybody. It's all of us on the field working hard, making sure that we're doing our responsibility so that, you know, when, when the play does come our way, we're, we're making it happen. What do you think about your future as far as uh, being a defensive player in the front seven? Do you, do you think you can translate your game into playing on the front seven and down the road? I think down the road, absolutely. I think I can play linebacker at this level. You know, obviously I still need to learn. I still need to develop. Um, but uh, you know, I think one day, for sure, when I'm when I'm ready, I think I'm, I'm ready to. I, I'd love to play. Yeah. Uh, the hair gets a lot of attention. You know, Craig's gonna, Greg's going to cut his yeah. hair. Uh, have you thought about cutting yours as well? Uh, you know, it's, I've thought about it. So you know, Greg, Greg's doing great. Thing, you know, that, that sounds like an amazing uh, thing he's doing. You know, for charity. So that's awesome. And I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to think about it. Just tell me about what it's like playing here in Saskatchewan. You mentioned you know it's the football capital. What did you expect when you're when you're coming here? I know you played the Rams and the Huskies and things like that in your university career, but yeah. what's what's it like playing for the Rough Riders? It's been it's been incredible. Um, you know, you really you you really look at you look at all the stands and they're all empty, and you're like, yeah, I bet you it gets pretty crazy in here. You know, I remember when I was a rookie, I, like when it, like the first time I was like, yeah, I bet it gets pretty nuts. And then actually playing in the first like the, the preseason game was pretty wild and then, and then we got into the regular season game and it just went it, it went off and it, you know it's so much fun to play here you know it, it just gives you so much energy and uh, it's just awesome to be able to play in front of everyone that's behind you I really feel like our fans here really support us and that's it's a great feeling as a player to have that is the next step you know the, the coverage team's getting a lot of accolades a lot of credit but is the next step you know the return game to try and spring a return for one of these guys. I think so. You know, I think I think just every aspect. Uh, our return game definitely, definitely, we we need to pick that up. We can we can improve on that for sure. And I think even our cover teams, you know, we can we can improve. Um, every week we're looking to get better. We're looking to you know you know do be as good as we can on every play and every team that we're on. So there, there's always room for improvement. About uh, the play of Sam Pearl as the leading special teams tackler. What's um, made him successful this season so far? Well, it, really it's his motor. He's just he's just a high motor kid. He plays with great effort uh, and he plays with great intensity. And that's, I think, really what's made him uh, have some success early in the season. He just plays so hard. He's, he's never out of a play. Even when you get him early, he seems to just keep working and keep trying and ends up showing up late. And he was a guy that the team traded up for. Um, you were in the draft room, I'm assuming. Did you, did you, you were in those discussions maybe or you were, what did you see in him, or what did the the front office maybe see in him? That well, you know what, I got to give a lot of credit to Brendan and Craig Smith and, and Coach uh, Chamberlain because they, you know, they approached me about it, and, and uh, you know, I was certainly in favor of it. But that was their move all the way, and they did a heck of a job on that. You know, he he showed some things in film that that we felt would make him a good player at this level, and there was something that our personnel staff saw in him that that really prompted them to make that trade. And I honestly, I was I was just an observer in that. I was certainly glad it was done, but I got to give credit where credit was due. And 
that was our management team that, that pulled that off. Your, your coverage team has been pretty solid this year, and I mean, he's one of the reasons. What's what's made the difference for the for the coverage team? Well, you know, we felt like we were we were decent last year, and we felt like we built kind of a foundation of how we're going to do things around here. And, and I think this year's team is has built on that and taken it a little bit further. And I think it really starts, honestly, with our punter and kicker. I mean, he's putting the ball where we want him to, and he's given us a chance to get out and cover. And then secondly, having guys like Hurl on the team, Newman on the team, Craig Butler on the team, uh, you know, Abe, Chroma. We've really got some guys that really play hard up front and, uh, and give great effort, take the coaching well, and, uh, and have really done a good job of just playing each play as hard as they can and giving it their best. Do you see uh, Hurls, a guy who can transition to a starting position in the front seven? You know, I don't know because I don't coach defense, but athletically he, he has what you want. I mean, he's, he's fast. He's a physical kid. He's bigger than he actually looks. He he's carries his weight well, uh, and he's intelligent. So I, I see no reason why he can't continue to develop as a player, and if that means a starter down the road, then uh, I certainly think he's capable of that. With the return game, what's what's changed, I guess, from last year to this year? Uh, you finally did get one return back, I guess. Just what's working for the uh, return game? I think I think what's helping is, is we've got a – a returner who's healthy and isn't isn't gassed. I mean, last year Tristan did it, but he was also a starting corner, and it just it's just unfair to expect him to have uh, his legs under him to the point where he can have his have the necessary burst to really give you a big play. So I think that's a start. Uh, the second thing is I really believe the guys up front are doing a heck of a job, not only blocking but but giving looks like they're blocking one way and then blocking it the opposite. So we really worked hard this year in this training camp of uh, changing up our schemes enough to the point where we can give guys a better angle on the block and then we've challenged our guys to be creative and to show one thing and do another and I think so far they've done a good job of it. How has DeAngelis looked in the first two days out here? He looks the same as he did in Calgary. You know, I had him in Calgary for five years or something like that and he was he was darn good in Calgary and he looks good out here. You know, he's an accurate kicker, he's very precise in everything he does and his leg strength looks good right now. I mean. Um, He's had a good couple of days of practice. Do you see a, a situation where Chris and Sandro split the duties um, this season or maybe this week? Yeah, I think there's a lot of scenarios that could play out. And again, I'll let uh, Coach Coach Chamberlain and management decide what they want to do. I, I'll just coach them up as best I can and get them ready to go. But I think I think there's a combination uh, scenario for sure. I think both of them are probably capable of doing all three. Um, but I also believe that that. It could be a situation where uh, they split it in some way or another, and we'll just see how it plays out. But they're both practicing well and, and doing a good job.